Welcome to the Lifetime Box website configuration tutorial. To begin the configuration, please click on the settings icon in your top navigation menu and then scroll down to website configuration. Once you are there, you will see a list of fields that need to be filled to set up the website. So let's start from the beginning and explain each separate part of this main configuration. Under first field, you will write the name of your website. In this case, we can use name Lifetime Box Demo. This name will be assigned to many important parts of your website like copyright statements, various titles for forms, subscriptions, and emails. Next is your company name. You can put a name of your company or your name in this field. This is mostly so that we can identify you in account manager and the name that you use if you're selling subscriptions to your page. So let's use my company in this case as a default text. The website URL in your standard URL assigned and cannot be edited. You can only go under my account page and set up your own domain name. Your new domain name will then overwrite this field and be used instead. Again, you must do that under my account. You can locate my account under help extras in top navigational menu. Your website email is your primary email for all communication in and out of your website. It is very important that you set this email correctly and that you use it often. If you are not ready to present your website to the world, make your website offline temporarily. Next is enabling full SEO indexing. This field serves two purposes. One is to let search engine know that your website is created to be crawled and the other pur purpose is to assign correct hierarchy to the pages. Basically your URLs will make much more sense to your users and search engines combined. You generally want to set this to yes. Next item on the list is if you have a blog. Assign how many summaries are displayed per category page. For long and short date, assign it to your needs. They are used for several plugins, analytics, blog posts, and comments along the, the lines of your website. Select your default time zone. This is mostly for commenting and replies to be an understandable one zone timing. For image and thumbnail sizing, leave the numbers as they are because they are adjusted to fit the current gallery and anything else you want to import. If you prefer different sizes for thumbnails and gallery or blog posts, you can freely set it here to larger or smaller. Set how long you want your blog summary to be on blog category pages. This is generally used for all blog sections or news and magazine websites. Next. Set the default currency if you are doing any sort of selling online and set your currency symbol below. This next area is tailored towards registration options and security for all of your pages. First, you can select if you want all your users to be required to verify their registration. What this basically means is that they will get an email after they register to confirm they are a real user and not an automated spam. For auto registration, if you set it to yes, it just means that you don't have to approve every single registration that comes in as an administrator. Also, if you set registration not notification to yes, you will receive an email for each new registered user. In the next field, you can set the maximum amount of users that are allowed to register on your site. Leave it on zero if you want to leave it open for unlimited users. Login attempts is a security feature if somebody is trying to break your password. After each three times of login failed attempts, user must wait 30 minutes before next try. That is the default set. However, you can set it the number of seconds in the first field for waiting and number of attempts in the second field. If you select yes on log on all actions, you will be able to view all activity under settings review activity. Next thing on the list is Google Analytics. This field is actually very important if you want to run additional analytics outside your own website. What you need to do here first is create an account with Google Analytics and assign your domain name. After you're done with that, you will receive a piece of code that from Google Analytics web app which you will paste in this field provided. Wait about 24 hours and go check your Google Analytics. You will see a really high detail on usage and website statistics much more um, expandable than what you have here with Lifetime Box. We highly recommend it and the whole process takes less than 5 minutes to set up. An additional note is that you can also paste code from Wupra Analytics in the same field as additional 
to Google Analytics or by itself. So again, this is Wupra Analytics or Google Analytics. Next is your default meta keyword and meta description. Assign a few keywords like lifetime box, lifetimebox.com, or website creation. And make a description that closely resembles your website. Try to keep it short and to the point. Keep in mind that this is still default only and real meta tags will be used from your homepage as your main website meta tags. So it just depends on what website you actually create as homepage. This is just in case you put your site under construction uh, or you just don't have an actual homepage to set. On the end, update your website configuration and you're good to go for this section. This is the end of the website configuration tutorial. We hope our guidance was clear. And if you have any additional questions, please contact us through our help desk located under Help Extras in the top navigation menu.